the number four player comeback of all time, Earl Morrill in 1972. Earl Morrill, to me, is the Forrest Gump of pro football. You think about all these great quarterback combinations, and Earl Morrill is always in the picture somewhere. When he's a rookie in San Francisco, he's playing with Y.A. Tittle. He goes to Pittsburgh. He gets traded for Bobby Lane. He goes to New York, and he's the backup to Fran Tarkenton. He goes to the Colts, and he's playing with Johnny Unitas. He goes to the Dolphins, and he's playing with Bob Greasy. Such a unique story because Earl Morrill could have been buried by history. On the losing end of Super Bowl III, Morrill was the GOAT in one of the greatest upsets of all time. Intercepted by Ken Hudson, the third interception for New York. Look at Morrill, he's disgusted. Later cut by the Colts, Morrill was claimed off waivers by the Dolphins. The cost to pick up the 38-year-old quarterback, $100. When he reported to the Dolphins, the players thought, this is a joke. He was 38, but he looked 58. He was older than some of our coaches, and uh, almost as old as Shula. Mid-season, Earl. Okay, babe. And the players, sort of joking, but not really joking, you know, put a rocking chair in front of his locker. Shaken up on the play is Greasy. It may be right here. He may have to go out of the ball game. Greasy got hurt in the fifth game of our perfect season. Earl comes on very calm and cool and collected, and everybody had confidence that he was going to make it happen for us, and he did. Earl fakes the handoff, drops the throw. He pumps. He, now he's going to run with the ball. 25, 20, 15, 4, 10, 5, touchdown, Earl. What a one that for Earl Bones. They got him out of the rocket chair to play, and he runs one in. This geriatric field general kept Miami on the path to perfection, winning all 11 of his starts. Morrow, firing deep down field, Warfield, and he kicks, and he's in. Then I had uh, the decision to make as to uh, who to start in the Super Bowl, and I went back to Greasy because he was now healthy. The Dolphins have won Super Bowl seven and completed the greatest season in NFL history. It speaks to not just uh, his dedication, not just his work ethic and how much he understood about the game of football, but what a great athlete he was earlier in his career that he still had that much left in 1972. Warfield, touchdown! I think it's very revealing. Players vote for most valuable player of the 17-0 season was Earl Morrill. He had a, a great chance at the end of his career to do something that so few people get an opportunity to do, was part of some phenomenal teams and was a major contributor to those teams. 